What's up? This is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 17 Tree Services video. And today we'll be cleaning up some trees that have fallen on top of a roof. And we'll be using the old GMC bucket truck and the Chevy Duramax dump truck. So let's start up this Chevy and make our way over. And I do already have the bucket truck warmed up and ready to go with the follow me mod working, which is going to be very helpful. And we do have a lot of work since we have some very large trees, three of them that have fallen, two have landed on top of a house. And this has been a very highly requested video, so put your comment ideas down below for some. But look at this, guys. We are doing like a mini convoy over to the job site. And I think we might switch this dump truck out for another one, just maybe even a larger one. So let me know your feedback down below. But I'm very excited to be using the bucket truck again. A lot of you guys really did like the previous one and these bucket trucks are very helpful and instead of climbing up on the roof today we'll just kind of be going up in the bucket truck which is going to be awesome so we'll be pulling in here to the right and as you guys can see look at that house there they are definitely damaging that roof wow that is some very large trees so I think we'll kind of pull the Duramax into the driveway kind of back it in I think we'll leave this right here we'll turn this off and we'll definitely look at that never really seen this before how he's driving like this so let me know down below in the comments if that has happened to but we'll turn that off and we'll get started here with this bucket truck so we'll uh, turn these beacon lights on back this truck up and I'm just very excited to be using this truck again these are very helpful and awesome to you so I think what we will be doing first is cutting it right at the top of the roof I think that is going to have to be the best spot but let's take a look because if we do cut it there it might fall on the truck I think if we kind of reposition the truck just a little more it won't be falling on this and a lot of you guys did ask me kind of how do I go up in there and I do use the player camera mod so we'll raise this all the way up And this does take a little bit of time to kind of learn how to do it. And I do wish that the buckets were able to work correctly, but they do not. But this is still one nice uh, setup. So I think right there, let's take a look. Have to be a little bit closer. Let's get closer. So I think right there is going to be good. So we'll get up there in the bucket. Alright, we are up here in the bucket, as you guys can see, pretty high up here. So I think what we are going to have to do is get out this chainsaw and just kind of cut this here. And as we go down, we definitely have to cut this. So we'll reach over and cut this. And hopefully this does not fall on the truck. Let's take a look. Definitely kind of fell perfectly. Did not land on the truck, which was good. So I think now we have to lower ourselves down. Actually, we could move over here and cut it down a little more. So I think we'll move it and cut it right. Let's cut it right here. Now we are definitely reaching out a little too much. So I think right there is going to be good. So I think we'll lower it down and move over there. We are back in this truck now. And I think the best thing for us to do is kind of reposition and get on the other side of this uh, house. So we'll definitely lower this boom down and transition over there and I just overall really do like using this truck even though it does not function exactly 100% realistically with the uh, buckets not kind of moving as we lift up but I think overall this is one nice truck and all the links to the public mods will be in the description so we'll come around here and we'll definitely kind of lift up here and try to remove this one off the roof and then pretty much all the work with this bucket truck will be complete We'll raise this up. Awesome. So I think right there is going to be good. So let's hop back in the bucket. All right. We are up here in the bucket. So I think now we'll kind of move over here and we'll cut this one. And let's hope that this kind of falls off the roof. If not... We might have to call in a crane to kind of move this out of the way. But it looks like it just fell off the roof, which is good. So we'll get down into the truck and move it. So we are back here in this truck. And I think that last piece, we were kind of unable to get. So we'll move this bucket down 
and I think we'll just kind of continue on the uh, tree work and kind of start to cut everything up and put it into the Duramax because I think that last one we might have to call in a different truck for it because we are unable to reach all the way over there. So we'll back this truck up onto the street and hop in the Duramax. And this is one awesome truck. We've been using this in some great videos. And like I was saying in the previous video where we did use this, a lot of you guys really did like it. And I do appreciate all of the support on all of the daily content because I really do enjoy making these farm sim videos. So I think now we'll kind of start up this Duramax and I think we'll start to get this gate, the uh, tailgate to be open as we kind of back up here. So we'll move our camera view around and I think having it kind of right here would be good and we could also kind of start cleaning up that. And we do have permission to come up here on the grass or else the customer would be pretty mad that we are taking a truck of this weight, especially with all the wood that we are loading in here. We could definitely damage it. So just going to uh, make sure that it's okay with our clients. So I think we'll kind of start to cut all these up, but these smaller ones, you could cut even longer because they aren't that heavy. So I think that's going to be good. Let's see how long is that. That is way too long, but I think we'll kind of fit it in the truck. Yeah, that fits fine, which is nice. And this one still has some branches on it. And tree services in this game has come a long way from all the way back in FS15 uh, where we were just able to use the skid steers to kind of load them up. But now we are kind of not really using the skid steers anymore for much jobs because we can now just kind of pick everything up, shred it, and everything like that. So some big improvements, especially for this series. But if you do have any cool video ideas anything like that let me know down below in the comments I'm always interested in reading and answering all of you guys so I think we'll cut these up into some pieces but not exactly sure kind of how large we can make these because it is a pretty large tree and from the looks of it these look to have been kind of uh, dead for a while and not really too much new growth which could have caused that to uh, have it collapse onto the house and fall So right now we are just cutting these up into some small pieces and later on maybe in the fall time we could probably cut these up and sell them for firewood but for right now we are just kind of keeping them and letting them dry out completely before anybody kind of buys all of these but all this weight on this Duramax will definitely uh, be a challenge but let me know down below in the comments guys should we build a rack body dump truck to release I am kind of really liking uh, kind of releasing to you guys since you guys are liking it so let me know down below in the comments what should we do for our next modding project and that's going to fall off and we caught it guys really good catch there we could uh, potentially play some football if we do build like a football field so I think we'll kind of how do you throw these I think throwing them in the back where did it land looks like it landed in the back of the dump bed which was good not really wanting it to kind of glitch through so I think we'll go over here and kind of cut all these dead branches off, making it easier for us. So we did that, and I think we'll kind of start back here and cut some of these up. Awesome, so we got this one. I think we'll pick this up very uh, light since it is a very uh, small piece. But we'll walk over, and look at that. Wow, it is going through just like the other one, and I do apologize for that being unrealistic, I'm not sure exactly why sometimes the collision kind of lets it kind of do that, but uh, we'll kind of come back here and continue. So if you do have any cool ideas for any types of videos, let me know down below in the comments. I'm always interested in reading all of your awesome feedback. And what I did notice is there is a lot of trees around this house that are kind of slanted. And as you guys can see, the one over there to the right and the one straight ahead of us, so you guys can see it is leaning. Look, they're all leaning over, so they might all potentially fall over, or the customer might have us come cut them down before they come crashing down on his house again, which uh, definitely does not want to happen because when trees do fall on houses, it could damage the structure of the house, or it could even uh, be very dangerous and possibly hurt anybody inside the house. So when trees do fall on houses, it is not a good thing at all because it does uh, cause a lot of damage so I think we'll kind of load these up 
we'll try to fill this Duramax to the top. I do like filling these trucks because we do pay a fee for kind of unloading all of these at the local dump. So I think we'll kind of continue. We'll cut this up and those trees up against the house we might have to come back for because it looks like with this one tree right here we are going to have like a full truck load so I think we'll load these up and go take a look at those trees see if there's any small ones that we could uh, add to this load and they look like they're all going to fall out of this truck so we might have to close this back gate we'll take a look so we'll throw this way back there looks like that went in there which was nice so we'll come back over here we'll pick this up whoa we actually just got a flashlight on guys not sure exactly how I did that but pretty nice to have a little bit of extra light so I think we'll uh, do a few more look I actually just turned that off wow very interesting using a controller is very helpful and uh, very easy to kind of move around in this game so I think we'll kind of walk we, we could actually cut this one right here might fall on us so we'll run back Look at that guys, it just fell, and luckily we are wearing some steel toe boots, which definitely could have kind of helped us out with a lot of this uh, tree branch stuff, just in case it falls on us. So I think we'll cut it again right here and see if we could pick this up. And there it goes. Are we able to pick this up? Yes, we are. That's awesome, but we do have an extra branch here we do not want. We'll kind of cut that off, and here we go. So... This Duramax, I think, is right at the time where we definitely do need to kind of close this door. So we'll kind of turn this around and close it. Now, I think we'll try to just cut those two pieces kind of hanging outside this truck. That's not realistic, and I really do strive for a lot of the realism. So we'll definitely try to do that once we close the door. Awesome. And this rack body dump truck has a lot, a lot of uh, wood inside, which is nice kind of cut these and I think we'll just kind of re-put these in just at a smaller length and looks like that last one is giving us a little bit of trouble looks like looks like we could cut it right here which is going to be nice because we do not want it to kind of be glitching out like that awesome so this one is just a little too large for it to kind of disappear we'll uh, lift this back up and we'll just throw it over the side what I did notice is this truck is a little bit harder to kind of throw over the side, but overall it is one helpful and a very hard working truck. We'll, we'll cut these two up here and then we'll kind of call it a day since it was a very busy day. And I think we'll do one more. Awesome, so we got all these cut up and this chainsaw is a really nice one look at how large we are making these pieces now so let's see can we throw these pieces that's not it so it looks like we are just kind of placing them right over the side of it which is nice and very helpful that we are able to kind of throw them but just throwing them a little too far in there could potentially damage the cab of that truck but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video cleaning up these fallen trees that have fallen onto a house here with the bucket truck and the Duramax thanks for watching and subscribe for more